Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> where do I start? This is probably the most exciting unboxing of my entire YouTube, um, I don't know, YouTube's existence. I, I can't call it career because it's not a career. But of all the videos I've done in terms of unboxings, this is probably the most exciting for me by far. And uh, let's just open it up <laughs> and take a look. Two, three, four. Looks like there are about 10 of these boxes in each of these boxes. From the title of the video, you guys should know what's in this box. And uh, this is my first time seeing these knives. Ooh, check this out. <laughs> yes, they are here. I don't have my overhead camera set up yet. Um, so I'm going to go old school, low tech, and I'm just going to use my iPhone and film these next few minutes of me going over the knife. Here we go. So as you can see, this is the Ricky edition, launch edition knives. And uh, that is my new logo. And I hope you guys like it. It's basically it's me and my family. So it's me, my wife, and my three kids. We are all in one family. And that's what this symbol means. And uh, yeah, so it's a plain black box. But what's more important is the knife inside. This is the first official unveiling of the Perfection Knife. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Here it is. It is finally here. This is the Ricky logo with one of 200 launch edition with a walnut handle. And it's made by my friends over Sakai Takayuki. And I am so happy to and excited uh, and elated to have my very first line of knives be made by one of the most famous knife makers in all of Japan. All right, so before I drool and cry some more, I'm gonna go over some of the specs for you guys and uh, go over some of the measurements so you guys know exactly what to expect for this knife. All right, so first off, I've got my calipers here. So we'll set it to zero. I'll show you guys the blade width and or blade thickness and blade height. So blade thickness, we're looking at just over two millimeters, which is a very thin knife. And then the blade height, we're looking at 47.3 millimeters. And the blade length is exactly nine and a half inches long. So 240 millimeters. So this model here is the stainless steel model made of from AUS-8 stainless steel. Heat treated to a 58 on the Rockwell scale. So some of the details that we worked a lot on, uh, this was something that was very important to me. I wanted a really nice polish on the choil and on the spine. Now, most of the knives that are in this price point have just really flat spines and they don't really have any sort of shaping to them, particularly on the corners of the spine. Uh, it was very important to me that we get a really nice polish on the spine and I think they have achieved that here. It is not rounded, but it's not flat either. It's more like an octagonal spine. So you have the flat spine and the corners of the spine are chamfered. And then we have a nice polish on the choil so it makes it much more comfortable to hold when you're in a pinch grip and your middle finger is up against the choil yeah so very nice clean edge uh, or very nice clean profile beautiful knife and this is the handle so we have a black walnut handle here this is all made in japan we've got the black buffalo ferrule as well and this octagonal handle is slightly taller at the sides. And so all, not all sides are created equal. And I have found that with octagonal handles, the handles that have a slightly taller profile on the two sides make it a little bit more comfortable in your hands versus a handle that has all equal sides. And so that's why I went with this specific design right here. This was custom made just for me. And you can see maybe a little bit closer at an angle here. 
So this is the Ricky Crest and logo, one of 200, launch edition. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do a really quick sharpness test on this blade. And this is just for kicks, by the way, there's nothing scientific about this. Does it still work? Yes, it still turns on. All right, that works. All right, so we're gonna test. We're gonna test the bottom edge of this. I'm gonna test three different areas of this knife. So we're gonna do the bottom right about an inch above the heel. One sixty. So let's take a look at what that means. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a look at this chart here. So the lower the number on this chart, the sharper the knife, according to this machine. And uh, so at three hundred, if your score was three hundred, that's what most high-end knives come out of the box. At two hundred, that's what they would consider a utility razor blade. This knife here scored again one sixty, which is between a utility razor blade and a double-edged razor blade. So that's fairly sharp uh, by any standard that we're looking at. So let's redo this test and measure the sensor of the knife. Okay, so we're gonna redo this and we'll reset it. So we reset it, now we're gonna measure the sensor of the knife. One ninety nine. So again, that's below or just below the utility razor blade. That's again still very very sharp. All right, we'll do this one more time and then we'll measure the tip. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll switch side. We're gonna take this fulcrum, put it over here. Oops, I jolted the system just a bit. Okay. Now we will measure the top around the belly of the knife. Okay, so 222, but you can see this knife is very sharp out of the box. And uh, all three cuts made it under uh, 300, which is, again, that's where you want it. But very sharp knife, I'm very happy with the score that this knife got straight out of the box. So here is a quick update on the blue number two and the knives with the teak handles. I was actually on the phone last night with Aoki-san from Sakai Takayuki. And the blue number two knives actually go into production this week and they will be done if all goes according to plan by the third or fourth week of November. And then by the first week of December, they will be shipped to me in California. So hopefully I'll get all of the knives, all of the pre-orders uh, that were placed back from, I think, April of this year uh, up until now, and they should be delivered before Christmas if, if all goes well. Um, again, I can't guarantee that, but that is my goal to have them all here and shipped out before Christmas is, uh, is over. Um, so I've got a hundred here that arrived this morning and uh, today's Wednesday. So you guys are seeing this on Thursday, I think. Uh, so yeah, they will be shipping out immediately. I'm gonna spend the rest of the next, really until I get all the orders, all the pre-orders for these knives um, shipped out. That's what I'm gonna be doing these next couple of days. Uh, so I may not be putting out that many videos uh, between now and the weekend. The AUS-8 stainless steel knives with the teak handles, they should be here in about two weeks. So by the end of November, the teak handles will be arriving or the knives with the teak handles uh, will be arriving and I'll ship those pre-orders out as well. And so I have a hundred of those coming. And for those who are curious and if you need a knife and you wanna support what I'm doing, I will leave a link in the video description to where you can pick this knife up. Um, the listing will also have the knives with the teak candles as well as the knives that are made of blue number two steel versus the stainless steel knives. And the only difference between launch edition and non-launch edition knives are the logo. Everything else will be the same, same handle, same knives, uh, or same blades. Um, same performance, you're not missing out on anything when you buy a non-launch edition knife. They truly will be limited edition knives. If you see a knife that says one out of 200, it truly will be one of 200 knives. And uh, we wanna make sure that we keep the integrity of what we're doing and keep everything as transparent as possible. A lot of stuff happening here, a lot of really exciting things. 
And I just want to thank you guys for all of your support uh, and all of your encouragement through these last few years. And it has been just such an amazing journey to be able to show the world that I have my own knife uh, that was designed by me, made for me with my name on it, uh, made by one of the most reputable and famous knife makers in all of Japan. And that's the only thing I can say about it is it's a dream come true. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for all of my subscribers, all of my Patreon supporters, and just for everyone who has watched my videos, who have given me a thumbs up, who has given me an encouraging comment. Um, I just want to say thank you.